When it comes to holiday shopping, the season is expected to be the best for discounts in years. That's according to Bankrate, who says 81% of the U.S. population will buy at least one thing in the upcoming week of promotions and sales. Ted Rossman is a senior analyst at Bankrate, and he is joining us now. So best season, holiday season in a while for deals. How good is it? Like, how do we measure it? And what's driving that? I think it's really all about the supply chain being better and also consumer demand dropping off, especially for physical goods. I feel like when people are splurging nowadays, it tends to be more on an experience like a trip or a restaurant meal or concert tickets or sports tickets. People have not been desiring these physical items as much. Clothes, toys, electronics, their sales have been kind of lackluster this year. I think a lot of consumers are looking for something like a 30% discount to get them excited. And a lot of retailers have started the promotions early this year. And in terms of, Ted, where they're going to be doing their shopping, I mean, obviously, you listen, there'll be a lot of people shopping online. But what about in-person shopping? What do, what do you expect to see there? We're seeing an uptick from last year. So we think that in-person shopping and small business shopping are both going to return to pre-pandemic levels. So about seven in 10 holiday shoppers say they're gonna buy at least one thing in person and they're gonna buy at least one thing from a small business. We see similar figures for online and big businesses. So there's a lot of parity this year, but I think really more than the past few years, in-person shopping is gonna be a thing. And young adults are surprisingly leading this trend. I think for them, there's somewhat of a treasure hunt aspect to this where there's an experience of in-person shopping that maybe you don't even know what you're looking for, but you stumble upon some unique gift ideas that you can take home the same day. That's one of the appeals of an event like Small Business Saturday. Um, you know, you track credit card balances closely, right? And of course, we've got rates at highs here. Does that mean people are not going to be putting as much on their credit cards as they do their holiday shopping? Are we going to see more people paying in cash? How is all that going to play out? On the face of it, the credit card debt picture is very negative. We see record high balances. We see record high rates. None of this sounds good. The thing is, though, that even though delinquencies have ticked up, they're really just back to 2019 kind of levels, which gets back to that normalization kind of theme. The debt to income ratio is actually quite low, historically speaking. I think this hits on one of the big contradictions in the economy, which is none of this feels good because inflation has been high and rates are high, but the actual numbers have been more positive. So I actually think that for the most part, people are hanging in there. They're in a frugal kind of mood, but I don't think spending is going to fall off a cliff. I think slow growth over last year is probably most likely, and credit cards are actually projected to be the number one method for holiday shopping. The big fork in the road, though, is if you're paying in full and benefiting from rewards or if you're carrying a balance at 20 percent plus interest. And when we think, Ted, about these days, you know, we sort of have them marked on our calendars. You know, it's Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday. But are these really, you know, one day events or are these more just should we think of this really as a season of deals now? I think it's a season of deals. I really feel like Cyber Monday and Black Friday have kind of morphed into this season long event. I mean, look back at early October. That's when Target held its Circle Week sale. That's when Amazon did their prime big deal days. Walmart had a holiday kickoff. I feel like a lot of the deals started in early October and they're just going to keep going through the holiday. I think that's another way the pandemic changed retail. The early start is becoming more commonplace. A couple of years ago, it was about the supply chain. Now, I think it's about the cost savings and spreading out that impact. And retailers are really leaning into this trend and meeting consumers where they are, which is in a discounting kind of mood. Ted Rossman, thanks for joining us. Have a great holiday. Ted, senior analyst at Bankrate. Thank you. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving.